I suddenly went into tachycardia on the mats. And, you know, I was born with a bicuspid aortic heart valve. What's that? Your aortic valve is the, you know, the one that is uh, basically all the, all the blood from the heart goes out to the rest of the body through that valve. And um, it's, it's a tricuspid valve, typically, that opens when, you, when the heart contracts. And I was born with a bicuspid valve, so just two, two flaps instead of three. Flaps probably not the right word, but that's the one I'm using. I know what you mean. And it was, yeah, it was only open about 70%. So when I was four, you know, I'd, I would walk down the street from my mom and dad's house to my grandparents' house because they used to live just a few houses down and I would like pass out on the way down to, the, on, on the way down the house. And so went to see a cardiologist, doctor, then a cardiologist as a kid. And then, so they did an open heart surgery on me when I was four years old. And they opened the rest of that valve. Yeah. So they opened the, they opened that valve the rest of the way and it, you know, it was fine. Like I had a normal childhood, like I'd had this open heart surgery. So, you know, back then cardiologists were like, don't wait, don't lift weights and, you know, no contact sports for you and things like that. And, you know, probably in hindsight, like having someone lift weights, you know, and do some other exercise would have been, would have been a better outcome, but I was still very active and, and grew up pretty normal. And then when I was 22, my brother was joining the Marines. I've got a younger brother and he was in the, he was going in, the, um, in for his final physical. They heard a heart murmur. They went to, he went, they sent him to a cardiologist for a checkup and, uh, you know, he had a deficiency with his aortic valve. And anyway, we did some research and, you know, it was a drug my mother was given while she was pregnant, um, that caused heart defects. And it was pretty much, you know, likely that cause she was given that during both of both the pregnancies with my brother and I. And so she, you know, out of a, an abundance of concern, said, can you go see a cardiologist? Like, I know you normally do, but just get a checkup for me. And so I went and got a checkup and new cardiologist. I'd, I'd seen the same cardiologist from four until I was 21. I was going into the pediatric cardiologist office as an adult, like sitting on the little kid's table and stuff. So I went to see the same doctor he went, he did, who was a pretty well-respected doctor in the Phoenix area. And they did new imaging, CAT scan and all that sort of stuff. And they were like, yeah, we need to talk. You have a, you have an aneurysm. So I had a giant aneurysm in my ascending aortic artery. So the artery that comes off of the heart that then branches off to your other main arteries. And I was like, oh, well, that, that, that's not great news. So we didn't do surgery. I was in surgery like 10 days later. And they replaced my aortic valve with a mechanical St. Jude's valve. And they replaced part of my ascending aortic artery, which was pretty freaky. You know, I was like super fit. You were 21? I was 22. Why is it? Yeah, so I was super fit, normal, you know, like normal, normal dude, sports all the time, whatever. 